welcome back to my channel my name is Nikki welcome if you're new if this is your first time here so in today's video we are gonna jump right in I am NOT doing anything too extreme I'm just gonna do a small DIY furniture flip to my china cabinet um, my little brother actually gave me this china cabinet so it was gifted to me um, it is very outdated so what I want to do is paint it I'm gonna be painting it two colors white on the inside black on the outside and then I'm going to change out the hardware so I would like to do um, brass hardware on the outside so I will show you that but we're just going to go ahead and jump right into this video today thank you so much for clicking on this video please do not forget to like comment and subscribe if you have not done so already come on y'all let's get to work so this is our china cabinet that we're starting out with. The first thing we want to do is go ahead and get it nice and clean. I'm going to use a little bit of white vinegar, dish soap, and some hot water and that's it. Go ahead and get everything all scrubbed down so we'll have a nice clean surface to work with and it'll remove any debris that we do have on our china cabinet. And the next thing that I'm going to do is go ahead in with my liquid sander, which is a sander deglosser. So it basically just removes that top glossy layer from the china cabinet. So we'll allow any paint to adhere better once we start painting. That's crazy. It really does feel gritty. I'm going to go ahead and remove all of the doors to this china cabinet so that we can go ahead and start painting. With all of the hardware that I am removing from this china cabinet, I'm just basically taking it and putting it in a plastic Ziploc bag until I need it for later. A lot of the pieces we aren't going to reuse, but some of the screws we are going to keep. We'll fill any holes with this plastic wood, which is basically wood filler. You can get it in different colors. And this is a new paint that I am trying. This is actually milk paint in the color Eclipse by Rust-Oleum. I have used their chalk paint plenty of times, but this was my first time actually trying the milk paint, and I actually do like it. This first layer that I did, it actually came out looking kind of like a charcoal gray color, which I hated. I absolutely did not like this color at all. But after you do your second and third coat, you'll actually see the true color of it, which is beautiful. actually go out and buy special brushes for milk and chalk paint I did not do that I just used the paint brushes that I had at home already just laying around so you'll see me going back and forth between the paint brush and the roller I like the 
paintbrush because it allows me to get into the smaller places or the places that have more detail to it. And then I didn't want the actual paint strokes from the brush on this cabinet. So I went back over it with the roller to cover up any paint strokes. This white color that I'm using is also Milk Paint by Rust-Oleum and it is in the color Classic White. You see me alternating between brush and roller here too. And I did spend a lot of time taping this thing off in certain areas because I wanted to make sure that the transition between the white and the black paint was pretty much seamless and I wanted those lines to be extra crisp. So I did take a lot of time actually trying to make sure that I get my paint um, lined up perfectly in the tape on here the way that it should be. And as always, mommy duties call. LOL dolls need to be fixed and put back together, so I have to take breaks to get that done, make sure that the kids are happy.
china cabinet took one can of the Eclipse, which was three coats, and then two cans of the Classic White, which I ended up doing five coats total, just to make sure that I couldn't see any of the previous color and that the white was actually a classic crisp white like I wanted. drill holes from the old pools that were on here I thought that I was going to be able to use the existing holes but turns out that my hardware that I purchased ended up being a little bit smaller so I did have to fill the holes and re-drill in between these two spots Same thing with the doors, just filled all the doors with that wood filler, sanded them down so that they were nice and smooth, and then once you paint over them, you can't even tell that they were there before. You'll be able to see from this clip here that the roller provides a more smoother finish as opposed to the brush which has those strokes in it which is fine if you like that but for me and what I was trying to achieve I like the roller um, and the smooth finish that it provides once you're finished. So now I'm going to take this pure gold metallic spray paint by Rustoli and I'm just going to spray paint all of the existing screws to match the hardware. I did also purchase this finishing wax. It did come with the brush as well. You'll be able to see the difference between the first piece, which has already had the wax paint on it, versus the second piece that did not. The milk paint is more of a matte finish, and this finishing wax gives it a sheen. Um, you can wipe it off to your desired likeness.
for me, I still like the matte look. I wanted it to have a little bit of a sheen, so I did wipe off most of the finishing wax after I let it set for about two hours, two and a half hours. take off all of the painter's tape so that we can add that layer of protection with the finishing wax to the actual cabinet as well. y'all that I wanted those crisp lines wherever there were any bleeding from paint I did go back with my little paintbrush and I had to get those lines in order because I wanted it to look like it was done by a professional. Everything looks like after we have added that finishing wax to everything you can see that it does have a little shine to it so now I'm gonna go in with the tack cloth and remove that wax and after I did the tack cloth I went in again off camera with the lint free rag and I wiped it a little bit more just to remove more of that wax from the china cabinet put this thing back together.
This brass hardware I did actually purchase off of Amazon. There were a bunch that came in this set. They have the smaller ones and then they also have the longer ones as well. Um, I will put this down in the description box if you are interested in these drawer pulls. Now what I have in this cup is the same metallic spray paint that you've seen me spray painting the sprues with. I'm just going in with a little foam sponge and I do have it in a cup. With this you have to move extremely fast because if not, it will eat through the bottom of your cup if you have too much in that cup. So I did have to work extremely fast to prevent it from eating through my cups. So we are almost done with the china cabinet. So what I wanna do now is rearrange the room a little bit. I have last minute touch ups to do to this, but I don't wanna do it until I actually get it to the other side of the room, which is where I want it to be. <laughs> Now the china cabinet does have little felt pieces under the bottom of it so it was extremely easy for me to move that without worrying about scratching my floors or anything. I could just push it and she was moving honey. Now the buffet was a different story. For the china cabinet, I actually did have to stick a drop cloth under it so that I wouldn't scratch my floor as well as moving it um, because this thing was extremely heavy for me to just move by myself.
Alright guys, so the last thing that I'm going to do is clean off the Sandra Deglosser residue from my glass and then I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I want to thank you all so so much for clicking on my video, for coming back, watching me yet again. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!